guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So I got a massive, massive number of DMs asking me to cover this case. And this case is genuinely jaw-dropping. The few people I've talked about this with were absolutely stunned. Prepare yourself to be stunned, I guess. Rise and shine. Dutch family waiting for the end of time found in secret room. If that doesn't sound like a movie, and I'm pretty sure there is a movie, or there are even shows that have that same premise. Family who spent nine years on a farm, quote unquote, waiting for the end of time, have been discovered by police in the Netherlands after one of them turned up at a local pub, reports say. Nine years? Waiting for the end of time. Can you imagine how jarring it must feel to realize that your entire reality has been controlled by someone or controlled rather by someone and an overwhelming idea like the idea that the end of time is coming. That scares me just to think about. A man of 58 and six young adults aged 18 to 25 were living at a farm in the province of can't pronounce. The family were found after the eldest of the children ordered beer at a bar in the nearby village of Reinerwold. He told the staff he needed help, broadcaster RTV reported. We found six people living in a small space in the house, which could be locked, but wasn't a basement, police said in a statement late on Tuesday. The older man has been arrested. According to the family, he's the father of the six children, say police. It is not clear whether they had been there voluntarily, police added. The eldest son was was not there at the time, police told the BBC. Local reports describe the man as a handyman called Joseph B, who was originally from Austria. I've never seen anything like it, local mayor Roger de Groot told reporters. He revealed that some of the family had not been registered locally and also indicated that the 58-year-old was not the father. The public broadcaster said the family had been living in isolation, waiting for the end of time. <laughs> I, I'm absolutely flabbergasted. I genuinely would have a hard time believing this if I wasn't reading it from a news site. For some reason, the guy not being the father makes it 10 times creepier to me because first of all, what the fuck are you doing generally and then more specifically, with these young adults. And second of all, what do you gain from saying that they're your kid? Like, it just creeps me out. Like, it really creeps me out that someone would say that. And I don't know if the kids think that's their father or if they're told to say that that's their father, but I don't know why I'm saying kids. They're like 18 to 25. So, <laughs> this is so crazy. Bar owner Chris Westerbeek described how a man had come in, ordered five beers, and drunk them. Then I had a chat with him and he revealed he had run away and needed help. Then we called the police, he said. He added, he had long hair, a dirty beard, wore old clothes, and looked confused. He said he'd never been to school and hadn't been to the barber for nine years. He said he had brothers and sisters who lived at the farm. He said he was the oldest and wanted to end the way they were living. Officers visited the remote farmhouse and carried out a search. They discovered a hidden staircase behind a cupboard in the living room that led down to a secret room where the family were housed. Runerwald is a village with a population of less than 3,000. The farm is outside the village and is accessible by a bridge over a canal. The farm, which is part hidden behind a row of trees, also has a large vegetable plot and a goat. A neighbor told Dutch media that he had only ever seen one man on the farm, no children, and that there had been animals on the ground, such as geese and a dog. The local postman said he never delivered a letter there. It's actually pretty strange. Now I come to think about it, he told blah blah news site. I'm also confused about like how much the quote unquote sons and daughters of the dude knew about the real world, you know, like, because if they weren't allowed out or if they were being kept in, I just wonder how aware are they of what's going on outside? Because the older brother, the oldest, probably the one who has the most memories of like a normal life, I suppose, seem to be aware that there is a world out there because he did find the pub and did just order beers casually, it seems. So I'm very confused about that because that, if the 58 year old is trying to control their realities, he has to be indoctrinating them or something like that for them to want to stay. Because I can't really imagine six people wanting to stay in a basement waiting for the end of time. People in the area tweeted the news and one reporter posted images of the farmhouse saying he'd been asked to keep a distance. So here there are pictures of the farmhouse. Police confirmed that a 58 year old man has been arrested and was under investigation after refusing to cooperate. Yesterday someone reported to us that they were worried about the living conditions of the people in a house in Greener Wall. They wrote in a tweet, we went there. We still had many unanswered questions, they said, adding that all scenarios were open and their investigation was fully underway. The farmhouse and surrounding grounds were cordoned off. Some reports suggested the 58-year-old had suffered a stroke and had been confined to his bed. 
It was unclear what had happened to the children's mother, although the mayor said she had died some time ago. This was a fucking roller coaster ride. Now, I don't want to assume negative intent on the 58 year old's part because it is possible he has a mental illness. It is possible that he had a stroke. Like there are other factors that might make his view of the world not align with reality. And while there can be malicious intent, of course, I don't think we should draw necessarily a conclusion now, though I still deem it creepy that a 58 year old would say that people who aren't his children are his children. I just don't understand what the point of that would be, especially when the cops are obviously gonna find out what the case is or isn't. Okay, so editing me wants to just pop up and say another thing, that I don't feel particularly positively towards the father because if the oldest escaped and said that the others needed help, that doesn't really give me an indication that everything's just going great. But at the same time, you know, maybe one of the siblings is toxic or there's something else going on, you know, like if they're indoctrinated, they might need to do deep programming. Like it might be something else, but that alone doesn't make the 58 year old look great aside from the creepy dad thing, so. I feel very strange about this because I can't even imagine what kind of life you'd have being locked in and waiting for the end of time. Can you just imagine the sense of dread that you're just waiting for the world to end? I don't know. That makes me anxious. If I think about it for too long, it makes me anxious. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to my patrons as always. And let's get right into the fan art.